Hey guys, welcome to Tactor Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about how to export from Figma to Webflow. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. If you are not familiar with Figma in here, this is actually a user-friendly and collaborative design tool that is like an online canvas for creating website, apps, and other digital design. So it actually let you designers and teams work together in real time, making it easy to create, edit, and share design in one space from anywhere with an internet connection. So this simplifies the design process, allowing users to create an interactive prototypes, share feedback, and hand off designs to developers. So this is actually a versatile platform that is widely used by designers to bring their creative ideas to life in collaborative and efficiently. So as you can see in here, you could align also this one with your team using the FigJam feature. And to start designing with Figma, you're just going to go ahead and click onto the Get Started for free. But for you to be able to get onto this website, you'll just need to click the link on the description box below to get started with Figma today. So you'll get redirected right after onto a Create Account page wherein it gives you an option to continue with Google or type in your email, password, then you need to agree to join Figma's mailing list to create an account. And also by creating an account and continuing with Google, you should agree to Figma TOS and privacy policy. So you could also do a quick single sign on for this and you could also log in if you have an account already. So the same process on to creating an account, you need to type in your email, password, or you'll have the option to continue with Google. So personally, I'd like to use this feature continue with Google onto any website that I have encountered so that I don't have to remember all of my username, password, or anything like that. I'll just have to click onto the account that I want to use. So we're just going to go ahead and do a quick sign in for that so that you get redirected onto the dashboard. Now this is what the dashboard looks like. You have here onto the left side your account settings, the search bar, your recent items. So you could click onto that so that you could see the recently viewed items in here, your teams, traps, and also there are different plans in here if you upgrade to premium features. So we have the starter, which we are currently using right now, which is free for trying things out. We also have the professional, which is the most popular for you and your team with unlimited files and all the pro features. We also have the organization for bringing teams together, organization-wide, design system, and many more. So you could choose which plan that you want to use so that you could go ahead and upgrade. And you could also click on to see all features here onto the bottom part to see the different features that it offers. So we also have the favorite files in here, your team, and the explore community so that you should be able to browse through the different templates that was created by other users. So for us to be able to continue, you need to have a design file already for that so that we can export it to Webflow or you could go ahead and choose a template in here that we could use. So let's just going to go ahead and use this template in here. Just simply click onto it so that you'll get redirected onto the design page. Now, before we go directly onto the exporting, we're just going to go ahead and introduce first the other tool that we're going to use, which is Webflow. So actually, we're using a plugin for that. But since we're transporting it to Webflow, just a quick overview onto what it is. So this is a web design and development platform that also simplifies the process of creating website without needing to write a code. So this is actually very user friendly since it allows you to visually design and build websites similar to using design software. So this also handles hosting, making it easy to publish your site directly from the platform. So it also offers a powerful tool for both beginners and experienced developers, providing flexibility to create custom designs and interactive websites without the technical complexities of traditional coding. So you need to have an account on Webflow so that we could go ahead and export our design file smoothly. So we're just going to go ahead and click on to start building in here to create an account. So the account creation is just the same process with Figma. Type in your email password or you could continue with your different platforms and this is what the webflow dashboard would look like once you're already logged in so for you to be able to transfer or export your design you need to have a site into your account for that so if you're just starting out and you don't have a site in here here onto the right side you should be able to see the new site in here just click onto that so that you could create something like this or a new site so here onto the dashboard you should be able to see your workspace so this is the workspace where it has our sites we could see some tutorials as well the dashboard, the marketplace, 
learn resource and you could also search the sites using the search bar here onto the upper part you could choose what workspace you would like to use since i have only one workspace we're gonna go ahead and use that but if you want to create one just click on to create workspace in here now let's head onto the designer page of the website in here to continue and let's head back to our figma design so this is the design that we have chosen and for us to be able to export this to webflow you need to have a plugin for that so for us to be able to have a plugin you need to head here onto the files part click onto that you should be able to see plugins and then manage plugins so that we could go ahead and search in here the plugin that we're gonna use but before we head onto the plugin you need to make sure first that your design is ready already and you have already tried to make sure that everything that you want to copy is already onto your design so let's head onto the design in here since this is where the page that it has all the design let's zoom this one in back onto the plugins in here manage plugins and this is the plugin that we're going to use the figma to webflow but since i have used this one already that is why it is showing onto my recent but you'll just need to search here figma to webflow if you don't have that one onto your account and as you can see we could see the plugin in here the figma to webflow you'll have the option in here to view the details as well for this so this is actually a design in figma launch in webflow you have a rating in here and how many users have been using this so this is created by webflow labs and there is also a quick overview onto what it is and also how it works so you need to install and connect copy and paste and polish and publish so there are also additional features and what it is supported you need to browse over here as well so that you should see the workflow tips and also caveats and future improvements that they have so let's just go ahead and click on the tray in here or run so that we could go ahead and run this and you could also save this one to bookmark so that you should be able to see it directly and also you could copy the link so that you could share this with other figma users and webflow users as well so let's go ahead and click on to run in here and as you can see it will load we'll just have to wait for that one and once you're already in here is what you will see so you could see all of the items that we have in here and for you to be able to select a frame to copy you'll just need to select the design that you want to copy for example we want to copy this one out now you'll have the option in here to select the site that where you want to add in the design so since we have one site already here onto webflow which is this site we're just going to go ahead and click onto account amazing site in here so that we could go ahead and transfer this design in here now right after clicking onto the plug and you should be able to see this pop-up screen where you have the option to copy and auto layout frame in figma and paste it in webflow as a responsive flexbox structure you also have you can also adjust the html tabs from within figma to transition more quickly to a live website so let's click on the next we also see the templates in here where you can get started more quickly with a blank structure template or pre-built layout so these elements are automatically responsive when pasted into webflow including the navigation bar so if we click on the next, the last thing that we'll need to do is to connect your Webflow account. So you need to choose a Webflow site or workspace that we want to import your Figma design into. And by clicking on to connect account, you should agree to Webflow Lab Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. And you'll have the option also to receive email updates for that. So let's just go ahead here and connect the accounts to get started. Then right after, you'll get redirected onto this page wherein it asks you to authorize the app. So you should agree that the selected sites or workspace data will be shared with a third-party app in accordance with their applicable terms of service and privacy policy so you could actually revoke the access for this app at any time from your webflow dashboard so you need to select a site or workspace to authorize so we have the search bar in here that you could use if you have a lot of site onto your webflow but since we only have one site in here we're gonna go ahead and click onto that so that we should be able to use this certain site for exporting our design now as you can see in here our webflow account is successfully linked with figma so it now has a permission to move layouts directly from figma and we're just gonna go ahead and head back to our figma design in here so that we could go ahead and start moving our designs so let's click on to let's start and then right after since we have already selected that we're just going to go ahead use the control c option and then control v here paste your design now we're going to wait for it to be pasted out so we've actually added already the design in here however it is not that visible since it has a white design so we could just go ahead and click onto that and we could also change the background for that so instead of transparent let's add in a background for that so that it would show so let's gonna go ahead and choose in here onto the different colors and as you can see we've gone ahead and already added the apple vision name in here you'll have the actually the option in here to resize this one out or customize this further let's try to move in another design in here let's just gonna repeat the same process here so let's open the plugin first example we could go ahead and copy this notify me in here so just the same process you'll just gonna go ahead and click onto that so once you have double click onto that it should give you an option to copy this to webflow choose an html tag so we'll just need to copy that one out and then go ahead and use the shortcut key Control v so that you could go ahead and paste it onto your webflow 
flow design. Remember to adjust the settings in here or make your website look beautiful. And also remember to save your progress and preview your webflow site to ensure everything looks and functions as expected. And there you have it. You have learned how to transfer your Figma design to webflow. And if you have found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like subscribe and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it down below thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on to our next video